The inner workings of the Perseverance rover are a hidden engineering marvel, operating flawlessly for 18 months to deploy empty sample tubes and seal and store the filled ones. But then something went wrong. On this episode of Mars Guy, the successful collection of organic-rich mudstone samples from the feature informally known as the Bacon Strip motivated the search for other examples in a place known as Enchanted Lake. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Perseverance managed to collect a core sample from these rocks despite their fragile nature. This first one was delivered on board and went through the various steps to inspect and seal it without any problems, as had been done on 16 previous tubes. It's the second sample from here that ended the successful record. A second core was taken as part of the paired sampling approach used since the beginning of the mission, one to be dropped off in a sample depot, the other kept on board. It's an eggs not in one basket strategy. The view after the second coring operation shows what the engineers refer to as a mushroom stuck between the coring bit teeth. But the percuss to ingest operation is standard procedure, which vibrates the bit to either ingest or eject the mushroom, and it appears to have worked as intended. Once on board, the cash cam imaged the tube and sample in the vision station, showing no evidence of the mushroom. But the step to extract a hermetic seal assembly from the dispenser failed. The seal is a complex little device designed to be airtight when installed. It's supposed to slide into the tube and catch via the tube retainer so that it can be pulled out of the dispenser but tube number 184 came back to the vision station without a seal. The trouble had begun. The autonomous onboard system aborted the next step, which is to send the tube and seal to the sealing station, where a ram mechanism forces the seal more than 3 millimeters into the tube, using up to 7,300 newtons of force. The brute force strategy for keeping gases in is simple and effective, but requires a tight margin between the tube and seal, about two thousandths of a millimeter. That means if there's too much dust in the tube, the seal won't slide in far enough to extract it from the dispenser. A comparison of troublesome tube 184 with the previous successfully sealed one does indeed show more dust, especially right along the inner rim. Note the shiny edge versus the dark edge. But the engineers plan for this scenario, equipping Perseverance with the bore sweeping tool, or refers to the inner wall of the tube, as shown by this time-lapse sequence over the course of five different saws spanning three weeks, multiple brushing and sealing attempts were made. You can see what looks like marks from the tube retainer formed early in the effort, and then dust just getting pushed around after that. Strangely, there's no obvious dust clearing before the seal was finally engaged on Sol 619, successfully ending the struggle six weeks after the sample was taken. So I guess the lesson here is that in the end, perseverance can indeed seal the deal. <laughs>